Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, the 41-year-old reigning NFL MVP, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots take on Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First opened in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they come in at an early crossroads here, facing a tough opponent on the... He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. On second down, here's Brady. Left side, caught by Matthews. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So those are the numbers for Gronk in last week's outing. 12 catches, 134 yards, and the score, too. And we're starting to see some consistency being established here because if you do it once, Wait, some people might count it as a fluke, but if you do it a second time, you're starting to think maybe he's got it going, and that's exactly where he appears to be headed. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. for White. Now it's Brady. Blitz coming and down he goes. They just gave up a sack there. And if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are. And I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist. Because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And it's taken in at the nine. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. The former Georgia product leading out this crew in his 10th year now at the helm of the Lions. It's Matthew Stafford. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. You he know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great...
Throwing on first down is Brady. This is White on the screen. He finds an opening past the 40. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stopped out there. They just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also go, used go. to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Now Brady. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Brady's got his guys first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. Now a play fake here on first down. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Ezekiel Ansah. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Apparently the Patriots in control of the football as we resume action in quarter number two. to throw on second down. And Matthews over the middle with a grab. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Brady now on third and goal. And caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan, his first touchdown of the new season.
Brady now on first down. And Matthews has it right side. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Brady, nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Now a play fake. Brady. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now wait. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Now flags come in. Look like one of the Patriots might have moved. That's going to set him back five yards. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. They'll run with Gellison. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Allen on to punt as he gets this one away. And he fields it cleanly. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. The Patriots coming out now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football hey, 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. So that'll back him up five. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Brady throwing on second down. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It'll be a gain of 11, and that is going to set up a third and one. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Here's Ryan Allen now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at the 20. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount.
And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. now on first down. And he gets it into the hands of Gronkowski complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Brady now to throw. And a hit. Have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And he hits his man, Matthews. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, left. who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They're yeah, down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. They'll run with White, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. He already has two sacks to his credit, now another tackle for a loss. And you know how you can always identify who was supposed to block him? They're the ones helping up the person who just got knocked to the ground with the ball, right? Whether it's a running play or a pass play, they've got to figure out a way to slow him down. Maybe you chip him with a second guy. Maybe you just out and out double him. Maybe you make sure you take the ball and throw it down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Brady now. Pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. Into the red zone. It's Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Wait, 20, five, again. Brady gonna try and throw on third down. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. And they got three yards, that's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Wait, 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Back now at Ford Field. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. You got to think this will punch it in now on third and goal. Wait, 20. Now Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. But partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane. And they batted it away on a third down attempt. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Now Brady got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Lions will take over. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized, you know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you, you know. If people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. and 10. Here's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. The defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Brady again here on second and 10. Wide open. Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. The former pro bowler Glover Quinn there making the play. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady will try again on second down. 
And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll make it second down. Now Brady again. One thing I think it's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Another throw on second down, and this one in come awry there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. Brady to throw again. And now another one thrown incomplete. The coverage that time excellent by Nevin Lawson. This goes to the goal line. You got to be very careful with the offense calls rub routes. When I call a pick trying to screen you off from your coverage, does a nice job of avoiding that and helping force an incompletion. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Edelman was the intended target. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Here's a look at Golden Tate as he heads back onto the field now. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they... Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Detroit, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for New England, the early...